Good morning, it is Tuesday, September 6th, and I'm going to be doing a quick test here with FSD Beta 10.69.1.1 of a very challenging, unprotected left turn um, that I came across yesterday. Now, I've done this specific um, unprotected left turn in previous FSD Beta builds or attempted it, um, but Beta would basically sit at this median and, and not make the uh, turn. It was always very sketchy, and I think I've only ever got to work like right once, and it was very very rough around the edges so um, yesterday when I was driving to a friend's house I kind of came across this turn again and thought it'd be a good you know test case that we could use as kind of a benchmark going forward with every major FSD beta release that I get so um, for more information on the turn essentially it's um, on Highway 13 in Savage Minnesota it's a left-hand turn on a Chowan Avenue South and essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down the highway it's, it's a highway with, with, with traffic lights so FSD beta uh, is engaged and we're going to be making a left-hand turn uh, basically across oncoming traffic. So oncoming traffic is approaching us at around 55, 60 miles an hour. So it's been very challenging for FSD Beta in the past because obviously it's got to, you know, not only see the traffic that's coming oncoming uh, at a high rate of speed, but it's also got to quickly make a decision on when, whether to go or not and commit. So uh, I feel like, again, it's going to be a good, you know, test case here. And it will just show you guys, again, where, where things are at with unprotected left turns um, here in 10.69.1.1. So um, I'll fast forward to when we get to the intersection. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so this is attempt number one here of the unprotected left-hand turn on the Chowan Avenue South. And it looks like we got a pretty good set of traffic up here to kind of test again. So we're slowing down pretty comfortably so far. I'll see if we're going to stop at the median here in posture like we should. We're still continuing on. Going pretty late here. Let's see if it's going to go here. We have a short window. Wow. I mean, that was that was honestly really good. Um, this intersection's kind of askew that the, the median after you cross there. So... Um, the car's kind of got to go a bit more to the right than it should, um, but it did a great job adjusting, you know, after it made the turn there. So I would consider attempt number one of three here a, a success so far. So I'm going to spin around. We'll do it one more time. I'm sorry, two more times, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, this is attempt number two of the unprotected left turn here on the Chowan Avenue South. And again, just like the first time, we've got quite a bit of traffic on coming here. We are doing this during rush hour, so um, you know this is kind of to be expected this time. So I think a good you know test case here. So we're slowing down. Looks like we're going to maybe come to a complete stop here. Let's see. We're rolling up a little bit. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm killing it there. That's uh, trying to kind of cut in front of the semi. There was not a good look in my opinion so um, definitely a little close for comfort there I'm not sure what gap it saw but it, it wasn't there in my opinion so um, I hit the brake and overrode it there so um, I'm gonna consider that a fail uh, on that test there so we'll try it one more time and uh, yeah then we'll go from there all right and this is attempt number three uh, of the unprotected left turn here on a Chowan Avenue South. So the first time we had a, a pass, last time I had to intervene and, and disengage because it wanted to kind of sneak in front of a semi a little too close for my comfort. Um, so let's see how it does here on a, you know, attempt number three. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a gap. So if we roll here and commit, we should actually be good. We hesitated a little bit too much there. And again, let's see, I'm going to let it go here and see what it does. I'll be a little close there, but you know, there was still a, a gap. So I consider that a, a pass. Um, obviously it hit the brakes, it chopped the brakes a few times there. Um, that it, if it hadn't done that, I don't think it would have been as close to those cars as it otherwise would have been. So again, it, it seemed to commit too much on the attempt number two um, than it should have. And then it didn't commit enough. It looked like on that last attempt there. So, um, Again, though, I just kind of want to call out, you know, while this may be a little bit rougher on the edges still, it's never been able to do that before as smoothly as it did that first time around. Um, so, again, there's been a lot of improvement compared to where things were at in 10.12 or 10.10, so, uh, and even pr prior to that as well. So, um, you know, a lot of reasons to be really excited about the hard work that the autopilot team is putting in. You know, it's starting to bear fruits here, right? And 
I'm gonna come back to this specific unprotected left turn, you know, over the next few major releases, and we'll kind of compare the results. And I guarantee you, we're gonna see a good improvement there because I know they're they're focusing hard on protected left turns right now. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.